hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have a november completed coloring book pages unfortunately i didn't complete as much as i wanted to but i thought we could look at the couple pages that i did do so that way you guys can see what i did color for the month and then i have more books over there for um what's in my coloring book bag for December. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys a whip from this book here. It is the 30 Days of Creativity. This is one I started doing um, in November. Unfortunately, I didn't get to complete it, but this will probably be completed for December. So the blue tab is something that I want to complete. So here's that. I actually really love this book. I'll have my flip through of it linked down below, but I really like how it has coloring and then drawing. So much fun. So there are a couple pages in here where you can draw and then a couple pages you can color just like that. So then you can fill up the space and it's just really fun for you to try new things. So. Yeah, that's this page. Hopefully I can complete that. This was done with Prismacolored pencils so far. And then I have this book. This is something, um, I bought a book like this for my friend for work and then I bought one for me. Um, flipping through it, I really liked how it looked so I wanted to get one for me. I have one that I completed in here and one that I really, really want to do. So I'll show you guys the ones that is completed. So I completed this the 15th of November and I used pretty much a variety of things. Um, I don't like the way my pencil work laid down on this book. I feel like it's very splotchy, but... I used Super Tips, I used Prismacolored Pencil, and then I used some details. So I did stickles here, and then I did kind of like a loose glitter on top of the mountains. So I thought this page turned out really good. I'm still getting used to coloring people, so I thought this book would be really fun for that. Um, I really like the way her hair turned out, her color, her outfit. Um, I don't know if I want to do like a snowy background here because the loose glitter kind of like comes up still. So I don't know if I would want to do that kind of background. So yeah, I think I'm done with this page here. So yeah, that's the one that I did from Chibi Coloring Book. And then the author, I think, might be in the back. It's made in the United States. Yeah, I don't see an author. So. Oh, here it goes. Larisa May Marias. So, yeah, that's this book. Next, I have 50 Snowflakes to Color by Camellia and Jacoba. I completed one and then I have another one that I would really like to do in here. So I started with these fun, this is the one that I want to do. I started with these fun snowflake mandalas just because I think even throughout the year it would be fun to color. Here's the one I did. I completed this 11 14 21. It is a blue sharpie and jelly roll metallic gel pen. So, I thought this one was really fun. The paper's thin, but I really like the designs. So, that is one that I also completed. Another one that I completed, I completed two out of this book, is The Enchanted Forest by Johanna Bassard. I've had this book for a really long time, and it's unfortunately not completed. It was the first coloring book that I ever got in. Um, and I'm still working my way through the book. So I think I'm going to be stronger on what I want to complete. 
So here's the first one. It is this beautiful acorn page. Um, and then I believe this was done with all Prismacolors. So it's a beautiful acorn page. Um, and then I did the one next to it was this squirrel. He still needs some accents. Yeah, I think I still need to put some of the gold on there. So I have to complete this one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought he was completed and because he has a yellow tab, but I guess not. So I have to work on this one still. But it's a beautiful squirrel. So, yeah. The next one I did was Mandela's coloring book. I have two work in progress in here and I have one completed page. I am really close to being done with this book. Um, I think I have 12 more pages now. So yeah, let me show you the ones that I completed, which would be this beautiful blue one. Um, he was done with big intensities, a little bit of sharpies, and I believe Jelly Roll Metallics. So, there we go. I really like this page. I really like the blues. Um, and then a work in progress. If I can find both of them. I think I only tallied one. Was this one. It's being done with big intensities as well. I really like how the big intensities lay down on this paper. So I think I'm going to continue using Big Intensities because my fill tip fine liners, um, they kind of leave like a scratchiness to the paper and they don't feel as well on here. So I think I'm just going to use Big Intensities for the rest of this book. And then this book. So I have a lot. Um, in here that I really want to do because this is <laughs> my book is has been through a lot guys this one again one of the ones that I've had for a really long time now so you can see some yellowing on the paper and stuff but I've had this for a really long time so I have quite a few um pages that I want to finish in here um so they're pink and then I'll show you I'm sorry. I'll show you some of the ones that I completed. So, I completed two. Because they're very detailed. So, here's the first one. This is with Prismacolored pencils. And then Jelly Roll Fine Liner. And then I completed another one all the way in the back. And I do have a whip I would like to show you guys, if I can find it. He's in here somewhere. But it's one that I started that I want to show you guys. This one. So here's the one that I started. I did this new paint that I got that I'll have linked down below. I watched... What is her name? Coloring with K's um, tutorial, and I really got inspired from that page that she did. So I went ahead and did some of the loose glitter on the iceberg, and then for the background, I did the same paint she used. So I really like the way that it looks, and then I'm just going to do fine liners and stuff and color in the bear, and that's a work in progress that I have. So the other page I completed was the very last page in the book was this guy. It was a double page spread. So I'll give you guys a close up. I used stickles here and then the rest I believe is Prismacolored pencils and then I have I think a little bit of glitter accents. Um, here. So that's this side, and then here's the other side. 
So I think it looked really nice. I think it turned out really well. Yeah. That is my completed pages for November. Again, I really wish I can do a lot more for December. I tallied a lot of books so that way I can start getting through my books. But I really hope you guys enjoyed my completed November pages. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment with what you guys would like to see next. If you guys have any more coloring idea videos or if you guys liked one of these, feel free to leave a comment. Bye guys!